Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18. I know we're like six months away from seeing the first beta of iOS 18, but we have some news, some rumors, some reports regarding iOS 18. And of course, we're going to talk all about that, what new features we can expect, which devices will be supported by the new iOS 18, and of course, when to expect it to be released on this first beta and also when to expect iOS 18 to be released to the public. So let's get started first with the new features and changes that we're expecting to see on the new iOS 18. So first of all, without getting into specifics, we have a report by Mark Grumman from Bloomberg, who is our very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff. Now, according to Mark Grumman, Apple is basically referring to iOS 18 as being an ambitious and compelling update. The goal with iOS 18, according to Mark, is to ship a major update with new features and also designs, which means that we can finally expect a new design, a redesign basically of iOS, which hasn't happened since iOS 7. Now, of course, this will also come with significant improvements in performance and security as well. So iOS 18 should be actually a quite a major update, always according to Mark Grumman. And that also due to the fact that the new iPhone 16 that will come next year won't have any big new features and changes. So Apple will have to make that up by of course adding new features and maybe hopefully a total redesign of iOS that would actually be quite big because the last few years iOS actually has been quite slow. We have some cool new features with iOS 17 and of course iOS 16, but nothing major has actually happened since iOS 14 where Apple introduced the home screen widgets and some other features. But basically since iOS 7, we have pretty much the same design with just minor changes. So hopefully we're finally getting a new design and of course major new features with iOS 18. And now let's get into some features that we know that are coming to iOS 18. And one of them is the rich communication service, RCS. Apple is implementing that to iOS. Of course, what that will do is basically it's an alternative to SMS and MMS that adds, of course, better features. So that will make communication with other devices are not iPhones way better. Of course, texting to someone that has iMessage is way better. And when you talk to someone that has an Android, you know that that's not a very good experience. But with RCS, Apple is adding support for high resolution photos and videos, also a larger file size and file sharing, audio messages, cross-platform emoji reactions, and also real-time typing indicators. These are new features that are coming to the messages with RCS. Now, according to Apple, this will be added to the iPhones later in 2024, which leads us to believe that this will be a new feature that will come with the new iOS 18. I wouldn't actually expect Apple to release this update with any of the updates of the current iOS 17. Big changes are also coming to Siri with iOS 18. Finally, Apple is integrating AI with Siri. Apple is planning to use large language models to actually entirely revamp Siri with iOS 18. They will use AI in multiple ways on iOS 18. This has been re reported and it has been confirmed that Apple is now working towards implementing AI into iOS. Now, one thing that they will do also with iOS 18 that they will use AI to actually boost a lot of built-in apps that you see on iOS. So a lot of these stock iOS apps that you have will probably get a lot of AI features, which will make the devices, of course, apps, built-in apps way better, and the users will most likely have a way better experience using the stock apps of iOS. Most of them actually have been the same for quite a few years now, and they hadn't get, got a lot of new features and changes, so you can expect AI to also be implemented in a lot of the apps on iOS, which are of course pre-built and pre-installed into your iOS device. Another thing that can happen and can come to iOS 18, even though I really believe this will happen even earlier, is side loading. And of course, this is limited. It will be limited to Europe only, but 
maybe in the future when Apple sorts things out and they figure out how to, how to work with that, they might even make this available to other regions as well. But currently, due to the EU laws, Apple has to allow side loading. They said that it will come later in 2024. I believe this might come with iOS 17 with an update of iOS 17, but it might also be pushed later on and released with the new iOS 18 update. And now let's talk about supported devices. So as you probably know, last year with iOS 17, Apple has dropped support for a few devices. They dropped support for the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus and the iPhone 10. And currently these are the devices that do support iOS 17. So the older one being here, the XR, then we have the 10s 10s max the iphone 11 11 pro and the 11 pro max now these devices i believe will be the ones that will be dropped next with ios 18 of course now according to all the rumors and everything we have heard regarding ios 18 this update being quite big introducing a lot of new features major new features designs and also implementing ai i believe that apple will be actually forced to drop support for some of the older devices now this will be basically the devices the iphones with the a12 chip and the ones with the a13 chip which are the iphone 11 11 pro and the 11 pro max so most likely the oldest device from now on to support ios 18 will be the iphone 12 series so you need to have an iphone 12 or newer in order to install the new iOS 18 on your device. Now, of course, this is not confirmed or anything, but just taking a look at the history and all the rumors regarding the new features and changes that are coming with this update, it leads me to believe that Apple will actually have to drop support for some of the older devices. And now let's talk about the release date. Now, this is probably one of the easiest things to guess when it comes to releases from Apple. Just take a look at the history of the past few years and you will basically find the date when Apple will release the first beta of iOS 18. Usually what Apple does, they will release the first beta at WWDC, it will be WWDC 24 this year. So it will happen, most likely it always happens on a Monday, so it should be June 3rd or maybe June 10th, one of these dates will get iOS 18 beta one released to the devs, then probably three or four weeks later, maybe five, we will get also the public beta to the public testers, but expect it on the first or the second week of the June. And of course, then we have the public release again, taking a look at the past few years, it's pretty easy to guess. I would guess that iOS 18 will come out to the public somewhere around here, the mid of September as usual. It will be the 9th or the 12th of September, most likely one of these dates when we will get iOS 18 released to the public. So that's basically it for this video guys. Quite exciting to see the first reports coming in regarding iOS 18 and all the cool new features and changes and the redesigns that we can expect from this update. Hopefully, we'll get something new on the home screen, most likely a new control center as well, and all the other changes and features as well. So, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.